Heading into summer, I've recently tweaked my skincare routine a bit while also solidifying my love for staples that I've been using for a while now. And today I wanna to share the all drugstore skincare routine that my acne prone combo skin has been loving lately. I'm actually not even wearing all that much makeup today on my skin. I just have a sheer layer of BB cream on and besides a few isolated mask knee spots that are almost healed, my skin as a whole is in so much better shape than it used to be. It's much smoother and clearer and obviously, I'm not a dermatologist. Everybody's skin is gonna need something different, but this drugstore skincare routine has been bringing me the results that I like. Today's video is sponsored by Yes2. I've actually been trying a handful of their new products, but two of them really stood out to me and worked really well within this routine, so I'll be talking about those a little later. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. Starting out with my current favorite cleanser. Now I started using this product when my skin was super irritated in winter, but it's holding strong and keeping my skin soothed now as well. This is the Derma E Skin De-Stress Calming CBD Cleanser. This is a milky cleanser that contains 250 milligrams of CBD plus vitamins A, C, and E to soothe the skin and reduce redness while cleansing. It's very gentle but effective. It leaves my skin soft, not stripped. Now it's important to note that this is not the type of cleanser that's going to effectively remove a full face of makeup. It definitely works better as part of a double cleansing routine, so at least use a makeup wipe beforehand, but a cleansing balm would be even better. The Derma eCBD cleanser is $14.95 and you get six fluid ounces. This has lasted me a while. You don't need a lot of product because the texture is so milky and a little bit on the richer side. Moving on, let's talk about one of the newer additions to my routine in partnership with the S. Two, I've been trying their Yes to Tomatoes line, which was designed for blemish prone skin. This line highlights ingredients like salicylic acid, antioxidant rich tomato extract, as well as detoxifying charcoal to purify pores and fight breakouts. The first product that I fell in love with from this line was the Yes to Tomatoes Daily Blemish Toner. This is a super gentle exfoliating toner that's done a great job at balancing my combo skin, especially heading into summer when it gets hotter. My T zone tends to get really oily. And since using this, it's not as drastic of a difference in my T-zone versus the rest of my face. On top of the ingredients I just mentioned, this one also contains niacinamide, which is great for balancing oil production. I can definitely see that working. Also, since using this, I've seen a lot of the smaller bumps and milia clear up from my high sweat areas like my forehead and around my nose. This toner is only $14.99. You can find it in most major drugstores and at Ulta Beauty. I will leave the link below. I've talked about using vitamin C in a lot of my other skincare videos. It's one of the key parts in my routine that I think really make a difference in keeping my skin look Looking bright with a clearer texture. And I've tried a lot of vitamin C serums in the past, but one that I constantly come back to and I've finished multiple bottles of is again from Derma E. This is their vitamin C concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid. This is made with 100% stable vitamin C, plus you have pump packaging, which means that it's much less likely to degrade before absorbing into your skin, as well as just in the bottle. This is a pretty thin formula that is lightweight. It sinks into the skin really quickly, so it's perfect for layering under moisturizer and makeup. It definitely keeps my skin more even in both tone and texture, and it also helps speed up the lightening of hyperpigmentation that's left behind by stubborn acne, which is what I'm working on right now. It's also one of the cheaper vitamin C serums that you can find at the drugstore, even for $19.99, believe it or not. In summer, when it's hot, I hate feeling skincare sitting on my face, so even though I've used and loved this year round, especially for summer, it's a go-to. I've talked about this next product a few times. It's still my favorite morning moisturizer with SPF. This is the Olay Complete UV 365 Daily Moisturizer in the Sensitive Skin version. So I buy these in a two pack at Costco. I think they're like $13 for two, but you can buy them individually and they're available in both UV 15 and 30. This SPF blends into the skin just like normal moisturizer. It's very lightweight. It does not leave a white cast on me and it's perfect for layering under makeup. It's also fragrance free, which does make it a great choice for sensitive skin. And it leaves a slightly dewy finish. It's not like shiny or greasy looking, but I would probably say that this is gonna work best for normal combo dry skin. This is just one of those products that's simple, it works, 
No need to get fancy with it. In fact, the less frills, the better for acne prone skin usually. Now for my nighttime routine, I'm using the Yes2 Tomatoes Detoxifying Overnight Moisturizer. This is great for combo skin because it feels rich when you're applying it, but then it absorbs quickly into the skin without leaving any type of residue feeling. This is just $12.99 at Ulta. This moisturizer contains 0.5% salicylic acid to target blemishes, but it also uses avocado oil, jojoba oil, Oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter. So it replenishes moisture, but again, it does not feel heavy. Even when I'm blasting the AC all night, I wake up with my skin feeling soft and still hydrated the next morning. And by the way, both of the Yes2 products are cruelty-free and vegan, made without parabens, silicones, SLS. This one has 95% natural ingredients, and this one's at 96. And finally, I am still alternating between my glycolic acid and retinol serums from Advanced Clinicals every Every other night. Now, after I finished my first two bottles of these, I did go and try to find these serums from more mainstream drugstore brands, and they were all at least double the price with less product and either gave me the same or less noticeable results. So while Advanced Clinicals is not technically drugstore, I still think they are the best budget option. You can find them online, and I do believe that my coupon code still works for 30% off. If it does, I will leave it down below, but a lot of you have commented commented that you buy advanced clinicals at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Walmart, Burlington, those sort of stores. So I do have a whole video about what these do, how they work in my routine, but in short, let's start with glycolic acid. This is an AHA. It exfoliates the skin, it helps improve skin texture, minimize the look of pores, and prevent them from clogging. And this serum is only $15.95. Retinol helps boost skin cell turnover from the inside out, really helping with clearing acne. This retinol serum is only $12.95. And these do complement each other very well, but using them together can cause irritation, which is why I alternate between them. Using these one at a time also just helps them work more effectively and not shock your skin with a bunch of active ingredients at once. And with all active ingredients, it's a good idea to ease them into your routine slowly, gauge your skin sensitivity and go from there. If you feel like your skin is becoming dry or flaking, then skin scale back and reevaluate. So just to paint a picture of what my morning and nighttime routine looks like with these skincare products, in the morning I will go for my cleanser, then move on to my daily blemish toner, vitamin C serum, and SPF to finish off. And at night, after using makeup remover, I'll cleanse again, move on to one of the two serums that I alternate between, and then finish up with my moisturizer. So each routine isn't more than four products, and I feel like that's very manageable for me. I'd love to know what drugstore skincare works for your acne prone skin, let me know in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Raquel. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I share my picks for the perfect drugstore makeup starter kit. I'll see you over there. Bye.